Hi everyone, welcome back to Workshop and today I'm going to take a look at these secure HT140 soldering tweezers. Now this is not a review, I'm actually going to highlight a potential problem, and no pun intended, a potential problem with these tweezers and how to go about remedying the problem. So I've been using these tweezers for the past few weeks and in actual fact they're really nice to use, really good. The best handheld tweezers like this that I've got or have ever used. However, like I said, there is a problem. Now it is supplied with this 65 watt power supply, it's got a USB-C and a USB-A connection there for powering the iron. Of course the iron's also got a barrel jack as well as an option but I just use it with the USB-C connection and the problem with the power supply is this terminal here. The earth terminal on this UK plug here. It's not earthed and it means that this power supply is only a two wire power supply and therefore the tips down here are not going to be earthed like you would usually find on a soldering iron like my JBC iron at the back of the workbench here. So if it's not earthed what sort of problem will that present to the iron? Well let me hook something up here and I'll show you. So what I've got here is my Mixig differential probe. I've also got an earth wire here. This runs to the back of the workbench onto the uh, main earth point on one of my uh, 13 amp sockets at the back there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach one side of the differential probe to earth. The other side I'm going to put on the solder iron tip. And let's take a look at the scope. And what you're seeing on the scope is capacitance coupling or earth leakage. You can see a 50 Hz waveform here and if you look at the voltages we are reading 100 volts AC RMS. There's the RMS line right there or 336 volts peak to peak on the soldering iron tips of the iron. And the first thing that comes to mind with those sorts of voltages is it dangerous? 100 volts? 338 volts? Well let's take a look. Let me disconnect that uh, connection there and I could touch the tips no problem whatsoever. It's in the stop position so no worries there. But I'm not getting any kind of a shock at all. It's perfectly safe to use. But what's the current involved here? What sort of current flow are we getting down to earth from those tips? And, and is it harmful to the electronic circuits I'd want to use these solder iron tweezers on? Well I've got my voltmeter here so let's uh, put on AC. Let's go across the earth at the back of the workbench there and onto one of the tips. And yep confirmed 104 volts AC RMS. But what about the current? Okay. Let's put it to milliamps. Let's go across here and measure it down to earth. 0.21 of a milliamp. Well that's certainly not dangerous to you and me uh, given that there's obviously a very high source impedance and it doesn't take much current to bring that voltage right down to zero which is obviously going to be doing now that I've got an ammeter shorting it down to ground. But let's take a look at the numbers and let's see what we've actually got. So we had an open circuit voltage about 103, 104 volts RMS and a peak to peak about 335 volts. Uh, I did actually load it with a 100k resistor off camera there and it dropped down to about 21 volts RMS or 84 volts peak to peak. And the current through that 100k resistor was the same as a short circuit current, about 0.21 of a milliamp. And from those uh, numbers there I'm able to work out what the source impedance is. And it works out at about 390k. 
So the observations is indeed a high source impedance, about 390k. We've got a voltage divider effect there with 100k resistance and it leads to a significant voltage drop due to the high source impedance and the power dissipation into that 100k load is about 4.4 milliwatts. And the question is, is it harmful to my circuit boards? Well the answer to that is, it could be. And the reason for that is, if you can imagine on your circuit board, you're going off and on those components all the time, releasing it clear, back on again, releasing it clear, back on again, then you're continually subjecting that circuit, those ICs or resistors, whatever you're desoldering, to a 100 volts RMS voltage on and off continually. Now, even though there's little current flowing, sensitive devices, sensitive electronic devices on your circuit board could be damaged from that. So given I will be using these uh, desoldering tweezers on electronic circuits, so what can I do about it? Well, you could replace the power supply with one that is earthed, that has an earth connection all the way up the cable, right onto the tips themselves, or you can do what I've done. What I did was I got this old USB cable here as you can see I've uh, cut the end off and I've bared the screen of the cable at the end here which is connected to the shell of the USB connector itself so when you plug it into this spare connection on the back of the power supply we've now got an earth point here and what I did with this end, I actually attached it to the back of my JBC iron, which has got an earth terminal on the back of it, which is usually used for connecting to likes of the bench mats and that sort of thing. So here's the back of my JBC iron itself. I've put this banana plug on the end, and it's just a case of plugging that in there, and it'll get an earth connection all the way through this IEC socket here, all the way to the plug at the back of my workbench there. So now we have a grounded tip on the secure HT140, safe to use on electronic circuits.